Hello everybody on YouTube, this is Super Nintendo again, and welcome to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Last time, we made it here to the Wind Temple and solved maybe a quarter of the puzzles, but we got separated from Makar, who is stuck in that little prison thing over there. And we opened, by pressing this gigantic button right here, we opened up the floor and realized we're not even close to being done. So, with the heart of a lion, Link will skydive! Woo! <laughs> oh, wait, uh, oh yeah, there's a door. I don't remember this puzzle, this uh, dungeon all that well, to be perfectly honest. Um, this room I do remember. Okay, so, depending on which uh, one of these you press will depend on what enemies you'll face when you go in there. So, in the interest of showing everything, because I just have to show everything, or to be more accurate, I don't have to, but I want to, I am going to show all of these. So, the first one we face are a bunch of Armos. Um, at least I think these are Armos. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong in my Zelda terminology. You mean bums? Bums? Alright, so we gotta push these spring thingies all the way over here. And, uh, you know, I don't really get why those spikes are doing that. I mean, it's, like, is that pumping motion actually going to do anything? I mean, you can... Uh, apparently it does do something. Never mind. Who am I to judge? Nintendo logic. Brought to you by Nintendo. Um, speaking of Nintendo, at the time of this recording, it has been one full year since they released... Super Mario Odyssey. And I do plan on doing a Let's Play of that sometime in the future. Ah! There we go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. If I remember correctly, if you do all five of these, then you get a uh, C chart. A, uh, a chart. If you go down rabbit hole number one, you get a bunch of red choo-choos. Not too bad. And of course, you don't have to uh, push these things. If you did, I would not be showing this. Let's see what is behind pit hole number two. Nothing. Pretty easy one. No, no, the, the one with nothing is the hardest one of all. Oops, I hit my head. <laughs> the one with nothing is obviously the hardest one of all. Clearly. Let's see what's behind pitfall number three. Ah! Easily the worst one. This is easily the worst one because it has wall masters. Even if it's just two. No, 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 no. Wall masters. I hate wall masters. I freaking hate them. They suck and they need to die. Well, I'll see you guys back in there. Okay, back to where we were. Except this time. Die! I hate you. Freeze your freaking soul. 
We're gonna be seeing a lot of those fucking things in this dungeon, and trust me, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. What the fuck did I just do? Alright, so... We already showed what this one is, but I'll see you guys in just a second when I am done with it. And let's see what's behind pitfall number five. It's a treasure chest! Is there anything down? Yep, green choo choos. You can. You can one-shot them in their little putty forms with the arrows? That is awesome! No longer will I have to wait for, like, 25 seconds for them to pop out of their putty forms. This is a miraculous discovery indeed. I'm impatient. Get a treasure chart. Is that worth it? Uh, I don't think so. They all the treasure charts really seem to give you after a certain point is just money. I don't think any of them have any heart pieces or whatever in them. So, this whiz robe basically spawns more enemies for you to fight, so if you need any, like, um, if you still need to grind for any of the Knight's Press or, any, or whatever, you can just fight enemies in here all day long. And, uh, he will also spawn normal whiz robes to deal with that love to shoot fire in. Or is he, or is he doing that? Jerk! Die! 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 Face the power of Link! Ah! Hammerox! Ow! Jerks! I don't even remember really what that. Ooh, another uh, dark nut or iron knuckle or whatever. The dark nuts and iron knuckles are practically the same enemy. I don't know why they are given like different names. Jerk. Trying to get the most of these enemies off me. Hello. Legend of Zelda, Wind Wake, ow. Grandma Soup. I pressed the wrong button. I was gonna make a FPS joke. Legend of Zelda for now. Legend of Zelda, first person shooter. This is kinda weird. Take that, skip hammer rocks. First person shooter, Legend of Zelda. Die. Let's try hitting him with an ice arrow or fire arrow next time. Where is he? Ah! Uh, there we go. Come on. 
There we go. Ow! Jerk! Why wouldn't he fall and just shatter? And just because he's dead doesn't mean his villainous cohorts are any less alive. Let's get rid of that stupid whiz robe over there. First person! Come on. Oh wait! That one can summon enemies too? Ouch! Okay, yeah, we really need to kill that Wizro. Die! Come on, Iron Knuckle. Put up a good fight. Alright, now that we have finally killed every enemy in here, goddamn, that took way longer than it needed to. Uh, this was where I put up a good fight, I gotta admit. We got the hook shot. It extends, it retracts, it latches onto things. What a cool invention! Alright. Honestly, I I love the uh I love the hookshot. I don't know how many useful uh things it can do though. Uh no, I'm thinking of a later one. Alright. Let's go rescue Makar, and then we can call it an episode. An episode. A webisode. What is a webisode? Is it, is it, is it just an episode of something that has been on the web? If that's the case, do my Let's Plays technically count as webisodes? Die. Um... Come on. Let me latch onto your face! Go over here, maybe that'll help. I don't know. Do -do -do -do. You got a compass. Magical power has been replenished. Has been replenished. Boing! like motion controls. At least they allowed them to be turned off in uh, Twilight Princess HD. Which, in that one, uh, how I'm planning on doing that one is uh, on, on hero mode, you know, once again. But also, whenever we do a boss, or whatever, whenever we do a boss, I activate Ganon's quest, because I have the Ganondorf amiibo. And I haven't exactly done that game with the Ganon's Curse stuff enabled yet. So, uh, as you can see, when you use the hookshot on there, you just kind of latch on to it, right? So, what you want to do is put on the iron boots. Ow. <laughs> My car, I've come to rescue you. I've come to rescue you, My car. Goodbye.
Alright, we got a joy pendant. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, we go down there and probably try to rescue Makar. Wherever he is. I don't even see him down there. See you guys then. Where is he?